Hey there, what we have here is a Hans Grohe Thermo Balance 2, I believe, from circa 2006. And I'm making this video because all the videos I saw online explain how to change the cartridge, but I needed to raise the maximum temperature on the uh, hot sensor, on the hot, because it wasn't getting hot enough anymore. And I stumbled upon the instructions Took me a while to figure out whether this was a thermo balance one or two or three, and I believe it's a two. But right there, you'll see uh, that's a three millimeter Allen wrench, and I've turned the water off. You don't have to for this. Um, it's just that easier, that's my water off. This is my water on, so it's a little easier for me to get to that Allen. And so if you loosen that, this whole mechanism comes off. And I believe that big bolt there is the cartridge. You loosen that to get that out. But what I wanted to show you was how to change the maximum temperature. And the way you do that is there's a little cotter pin or the equivalent of a cotter pin right here. And I'll just put the camera down for a second and you can actually pull it off with your fingers. You Gotta make sure you don't lose it and it drops down the drain. And then what you have, this is similar to, if you did a search, you'll probably get a Google, uh, you'll get a, uh, a Delta faucet, because uh, that's probably very similar uh, in terms of the concept. This part here that's etched into the brass is the stop, and then this little keyed washer with the, with the, with the key on it is the part that, when you spin it, is what maxes out the temperature. And you want to just make sure that when you do this initially that you're, you've spun it all the way to the left. So it's all the way on the hot water. You can grab it by hand or you might need to use a little pair of pliers. But you want to be careful you don't burn it up. But you just spin that counterclockwise as much as possible to make it hot. And back it off a little bit and I'll put the keyway in. And you can see that now it's touching that. Now you have maximum hot water. And then don't forget to put the little cotter pin on that holds it in place so it doesn't come off. Again, you don't need to turn off your water for this, but I did. You might need to jog it around a little bit to get this guy on, like so. And there you go. Just tighten that set screw and it'll be all set.